Hello Java aspirants, this is Gaurav, an expert Java trainer. As per high demand from many people, I am commencing the Java discussion from scratch. Let's keep advantages and life cycle of Java programming topic on the table today for discussion. If you are a beginner, you probably have question, what are the advantages of Java as compared to other programming languages? So, Java is simple. Java is made simple because difficult concepts of C and C++ have been omitted in Java. For example, pointers. And also, it maintains the same syntax of C and C++. Java is object oriented. Java programs uses objects and classes. Java is robust. Java programs are strong and they don't crash easily like a C or C++ program. There are two reasons for this. One, an exceptional handling feature and other is capable of deallocating the memory when it is not used. Java is secure. Security problems like eavesdropping, dropping, tampering, impression and virus that can be eliminated or minimized by using Java on internet. Java is system independent. It can run on any machine with any processor or any operating system. Java uses both compiler and interpreter for the execution. Java providing high performance. The problem with interpreted inside the JVM is that it is slow. To overcome this problem, JIT just in time have introduced which enhance the speed of execution. Java uses multi-threading. JVM uses several threads to execute different block of codes. Creating multiple thread is called multi-threading. Java is portable and suitable for internet or network. As we know that internet is a global network of all the computers existing on the earth and anyone can connect his or her computer to this network. So there will be different types of computers with different processors and different operating systems existing on internet. Let's say if we create a Java program say abc.java which contains Java source code statement then Java compiler will compile this program and translate the abc.java program into abc.class file which contains bytecodes. But microprocessor of computer cannot understand and not able to execute this bytecode instructions. So these bytecode instructions are understandable by Java virtual machine JVM is a program written to understand the bytecode instruction and convert them into machine code. JVM's role in a way that it has to first identify the operating system and processor used in the computer system and then convert the bytecode instructions into a, an understandable format for that particular process and operating system. JVM will understand we are using Pentium or Spark processor in our system. So it converts bytecode into machine code which is understandable by respective processor. So processor executes it and display the result. So we can say bytecode is system independent. It can be created in any system using predefined 200 instructions. JVM is system dependent. Java program is system independent. Let's take an example. If we write a .java program on X processor and Y operating system, then that program is executable on any other computer system with any processor and operating system. This means Java program are system independent or platform independent. So that is all about the basic of Java. Thank you for watching my video. Please keep watching my more videos to learn Java in an easy way. You can send me an email for any query to my id go for elearning at gmail.com thank you